Hey, what's up everyone? Mort Croson here, and today we're gonna to be going over 10 exercises I think every quarterback should be doing, and we're gonna start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the performance lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't want to just talk about straight line speed. We also want to talk about your ability to be quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so first one here, I'm just laying here on the bench and I got my elbow locked in to my side. And what I'm just doing is lifting all the way up, controlling back down, lifting all the way up. I'm using a five pound weight right now, uh, but you can go up to using something like a, a 10, you know, maybe even 15, depending on how strong you are as a quarterback. Again, I'm just using a five, you know, even a two and a half would be good for the guys that are just starting out. But this is excellent for creating extra rotation within the shoulder, improves the posture, makes this so overall, you're just gonna be in a better position within that scapula and rotator cuff uh, which is excellent when it comes to being able to throw the football. The next is just working on external internal rotation. So I'm here, I got me el my elbows high. I'm coming all the way down and then back out. So you can see I'm really putting an emphasis on where my elbow position is. And I really want to be able to get internal rotation coming all the way down and also reaching all the way back as far as I can to really make it so I'm able to get great external rotations, which, which is what we see with those quarterbacks that are able to generate a lot of force in the throw. They really have a lot of ability to create external rotation, which is critical. All right, this one's going to be creating an overhead press. So I'm just sitting here and I'm just pressing right up overhead, keeping those hands nice and tall. This is great for being able to develop your posture, right? Making sure that you're able to have strong shoulders, but also create elongation within that mid back, which is really important. You could also do this sitting against the wall as well. You know, just something that will help you in improving your length within the mid back is going to be a great exercise for you. All right, next one's going to be weighted thoracic rotation. So I'm going to have my legs straight apart here, I have my hand out in front. I'm just gonna rotate all the way up, coming back down. Again, I have a five pound weight here. I'll go up to 10 on this, um, but really this is just creating rotation now in that thoracic spine and making sure that you're able to have plenty of range of motion through rotation there. You don't wanna be limited in your ability for your spine to rotate when you're going through the throw. Next one's just gonna be a fingertip either plank, right? So I'm holding my fingertips here, being able to really control my, my weight and get good uh, grip strength. I could also do a push up here, coming up and down. That's gonna be another great way of improving your hand strength, uh, which is something that's super important when it comes to throwing the football. You gotta be able to have strong hands, strong grip, uh, and that's a great way to do it. Again, you could either do a plank there or you could also do a fingertip push up. Quarterback University is where committed quarterbacks come to take their game to the next level. Improve your throwing power, velocity, accuracy, and get the ball out of your hands faster. Not only are there videos to improve your mechanics, but there's also workout tutorials and also drills to help you improve as well. We want to help you get noticed, which is why we also included a recruiting services section. We'll have quizzes that you'll be able to take to be able to make sure that you actually get the information and are able to repeat it back. In case you have any shoulder, back, wrist, or elbow soreness, there is a section to address that as well. Click the link here in order to get started. Thanks for watching. Next one's gonna be a one arm plank. So I just have one hand down here. I'm controlling my hips, I'm keeping my feet wide, and I'm just holding this. I could hold this for like 15, 20 seconds, something like that would be plenty of time. Uh, but this is really good for being able to maintain good position within the scapula. Make sure that hand is right underneath your shoulder when you're doing this. It might be intense at first, so if you can only hold it for 10 seconds, I get it, but definitely something that you wanna implement. Next one, great one's gonna be a scorpion stretch. So I'm gonna be down here and I'm just gonna rotate all the way up and through, bringing my hand or my feet to my hands, right? I'm not really moving my hands at all. I'm just trying to rotate through that lower back to be able to create plenty of rotation through there. Again, an important part of being able to uh, throw the ball is gonna be creating disassociation between your hips and shoulders. This is a great exercise to help you work on that. Next one's gonna be windshield wipers. I got my feet up. I'm rotating here side to side, making sure that I'm maintaining both shoulders down onto the ground. I don't wanna to touch my feet to the ground. And I also wanna to try to keep my feet together as I'm doing this. This is a good way, again, of building strength now and rotation through that lower core, helping and improving your range of motion through there. Next one's gonna be some type of push-up variation, right? I think these are gonna be, you know, great for you. I mean, obviously if you have more access to like weight rooms, things like that, then you definitely wanna do that. But, you know, this is gonna be just like a general workout video or, or things that you can improve. So, you know, you can do regular push-up here. Uh, we could also go diamonds, right? But you wanna be strong in your upper body overall. And this is a big way to build strength. We could also go clapping push-ups. 
those are all important ways to be able to help build just overall upper body strength. This is another important one where I'm keeping my elbows up. I'm touching my elbows together, coming back out. I think this is great to understand how to get your elbows all the way through the throw when you come back into loading, right? I think that's an important thing to be able to understand is when you're loading, when you're getting yourself set up, making sure that you have the you know, ability to get that elbow through. And a lot of people are really limited in their ability to get that elbow through. So, you know, as you're coming through, getting into that plenty of range of motion, this is a great way of being able to understand how to get there in your range of motion. All right, this is another staple that I do a lot with quarterbacks, which is just laying on your side here. You could have, you know, one leg bent. We have one leg straight, right? So you can see how I'm crossed over here. And then I'm just gonna go through full range of motion with the shoulder and really trying to achieve as much of a full circle as I possibly can here as I'm going all the way back. Again, I got a five pound weight, same weight as I've been using. Uh, I would say five pounds probably the limit. Maybe you can go up to eight. It's really not about weight here. It's really about being able to get active range of motion all the way through that shoulder. So that ends up being the key. You'll feel some areas as you're doing this that are a little bit stiff, a little bit tight, and you want to be able to really isolate those and improve those in order to really maximize your ability to throw the ball far. All right, guys, so that ended up being 11 exercises all together to help you as a quarterback. This is something you should be doing on a consistent basis in order to improve your range of motion, get stronger, you know, make sure you have plenty of upper body strength, plenty of core strength, plenty of range of motion within those areas. Uh, and these are gonna be great exercises to do that. I really put a focus on, you know, core upper body here. There's obviously a ton of things that you need to do within your lower body as well, but I almost feel like I should maybe make a part two video for that. So comment down below if you think I should make a part two video. Uh, let me know if this is helpful. Also check out the description down below to find out more about our, you know, quarterback programs that are available, our breakdowns, things like that. Really trying to help you guys out here best I can. I really think 2022 is gonna be awesome in terms of being able to provide a ton of value for quarterbacks. So get on board, you know, get involved, get ready, uh, get yourself set up to have a great 2022 yourself. And as always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, uh, comment down below, and we'll talk to you soon.